Hello, you lovely people. Welcome to Accounting Lecture and particularly welcome to this course, Learn Accounting Within an Hour. This is your expert tutor. My name is Elias. Full name is Elias Rubel. I'm a qualified chartered accountant, been teaching accounting for many, many years. In this video, I'm going to talk about two topics, stages of accounting system. Let's assume you're working in an accounting department. What do you do in that department? At first, some financial transactions needs to be taken place in your organization. Those transactions needs to be documented. For example, you sold or purchased. So against those transactions, there should be some sources of documents. We call it sales invoice, purchase invoice. If there is any sales return, purchase return, there should be some credit note. Then you start doing the books of accounts. The sources of documents, lots of invoices, lots of invoices, you got it. Those invoices you put into a day book, or call, we call it books of prime entry, day book. It could be sales day book, it could be purchases day book, yeah, sales return, purchase return, cash book, petty cash book. From the day books, you transfer the information into T accounts. We call it ledger accounts or T accounts, double entry. From ledger accounts, the balance CDBD, you prepare trial balance and then from trial balance you make one account we also call it financial statements that is your accounting stages next one is called accounting equation in this video i'm going to talk about only these two topics the rest of the videos we have covered all other topics what is an accounting equation asset equals to capital plus liability in american canada the capital is also known as equity well, equity or capital is money introduced by the owner into the business. Yeah. Well, asset equals to capital plus liability. If we'd like to put into some uh, facts and figures here, let's assume this is our business. First floor, uh, ground floor, GF, second floor and uh, third floor. What type of business you'd like to do? Let's assume we are Amazon big business when amazon started although amazon started in a garage but let's assume three-story building they started with and the owner of the amazon has invested the the whole building and all the assets and everything building itself is an asset uh, any uh, fixtures and fittings office equipment anything in, inside there is an asset uh, let's assume they started with five hundred thousand pound yeah that's their asset and we said asset equals to capital plus liability. Now, the owner from himself um, has given, let's say, 300,000 pounds. Rest of the money he had to borrow from the friends or family or could be from bank, which is 200,000. That is your accounting equation. Now, you can always alter the accounting equation like asset minus liability equals to capital. For, for example, asset here is 500,000, 5 minus liability is 200,000 minus 2 equals to um, 3 which exactly looks like this. That is your accounting equation. Well, uh, what are assets and liabilities? You already know the definition. Still, the definitions are given from me. Assets are held in the business which you own, but non-current assets held in the business for more than 12 months' time. Current assets, less than 12 months' time. Liability, we owe to anybody, current and non-current could be. That's all from this video. Enjoy the free course. Share this, our brand new um, website, accountinglecture.teachable.com and stay blessed in this pandemic time. What can be a, a good um, course other than this? If you are an accounting student, start at your O-levels, IGCC A-levels, doing accounting technician courses, university first year, or you are a businessman, you want to learn accounting more, this course is definitely for you. Keep watching all our videos and stay blessed. Rock and roll.